Hello everyone, how are we doing? Yes, little little chat today about chilies. Yeah, we're going to be talking about chilies, and we'll go in the polytunnel in a minute. I've just got got the kettle on there for a quick little little brew before we go in. But I want to talk about chilies because I'm now getting to the stage in in the year where what I'm thinking is, if I don't get everything in and get them set, there isn't going to be enough time. So you know, for the kind of fruits to develop. So let me go into the, the polytunnel and we'll have a chat on which chilies I've got and what chilies and what I'm expecting. So welcome to the polytunnel. Yes, and as you can see, and I'm going to do another video on the tomatoes because I'm going more, I'm concentrating more this year on tomatoes. But I just want to run through the chilies and what I've got and what I'm a bit disappointed by, and I think it's all down to, to do with the, you know, the beast of the east. There, I mean, get, get me, get me brew, get me brew there. So, still those chilies. It, that's the basil there as well. I've got some basil going, but still those chilies. You know, I did them in February in a little, you know, little incubator, whatever you call them, and they just didn't. They haven't been decent at all i put the better ones in the pots you know and so i'll go through last year you know i had all sorts of chilies in here just absolutely all sorts from the kind of you know the carolina reaper right through the, the spectrum and a, a few of them you know a few of the really hotter ones you know i think i had like the, the top three of of 2017 what were the top three hot ones they took ages to come you know and the fruits were just tiny and they should have been started a way way along but you know all of the usual ones came in abundance and i've still got them dried in the house so we'll start off and this back row as you can see the back row there just move these little things these first four there are just a sweet pepper and they're, they're a red skin and it's they're looking probably the best of all of them you know <laughs> if you if you have a look at them you know they they're, they're good and they'll get some fruit i'm sure the ones further back let me just take you across there uh these were just bought from a you know like a kind of garden supplier and they're habanero paper lanterns now see even them are not particularly good looking plants for you know i mean we're coming to june there now i would have thought i would have had a bit more than than that you know that kind of growth on them ones so we're just gonna have to wait and see but i've got like i say a, a little bit of heat there with those paper lantern ones then we're coming to mine <laughs> these are joe's long that one down there let's get down there that's a joe's long and that one's a joe's long as well now i had abundance from from these last year there's another one as well and it was just oh, that's pointing at the tomato there <laughs> can't tell the difference man that one there as well as the joe's long these were just about eight inches of like pure you know like a nice mixed heat but not mixed heat like a nice medium heat and they were just lovely actually absolutely lovely then at the back on this side let me just look there there's another joe's long so hopefully you know that one and that one there they're, they're probably my best ones so hopefully i can get something away with them these back down there are thai red dragon chilies there and just again bought from a garden a garden center they just were any chili that was in the gardens and it was head and shoulders above the ones I, I was, you know, propagating. So I just really had to bite the bullet and kind of just buy in. And it's hopefully I'm going to get some. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully I'm going to get some chilies and everything will be all right. The ones that I'm banking on, these are my, you know, these one there, one there down there right down yeah that little thing and there is the hungarian hot wax now these ones are probably my favorite chili of all time you know they're not not a hot chili you just they're a nice fruit that come quick and in abundance and you can take the seeds out this is what we do and just griddle them 
you know just kind of have that kind of lines you know that when you red hot griddle skittle pan and they're just absolutely lovely breakfast dinner anything now they've come on i must admit that, yes first you know what i mean coming into june there now and that's what six inches eight inches tall i would have liked it bigger but like you say if you go over to the ones that are still you know i'm not even going to bother with them and it's a shame because you know they would have you know if i put them in there would have been a way but they're just there's probably not going to be that time left you know what i mean let me just sit myself down here there's not going to be the, the sunshine you know the daylight hours are going to be you know a few and far between coming october and then that's it hopefully we've had some good weather do you know we could don't get us wrong we've had some nice hot weather of late and have sprang up i'm hoping that they'll carry on and you know like i say it'd be nice to get this year's crop i've got plenty you know from last year and i'll i'll be giving some seeds away as well because i've got oodles of seeds from last year you know what i mean the the red old hot ones there so it would be nice you know next year because next year i plan to actually put put some mini pollen tunnels outside and you know and you know and try and get them you know plant the seeds you know sow the seeds in january almost you know to try and or some at least to try and beat the weather because hey it just comes and goes you know what i mean it's just one year it's good one year it's it's bad you know that's that that's the way life is kind of with gardening but when it kind of smacks you do you know what i mean when you've had this like say the beast from these your whole season is knocked on end and it's just a final race do you know to try and produce some vegetables so hopefully you know like I say, I think those sweet peppers will come. You know, I'm guessing I'll get some Joe's long. That'll be nice. And some the the Thai red dragon at the back there. So fingers crossed. Next time I'll I'll go into what to like I say the tomato plants, you know, there's no stopping them things, you know what I mean? They're like bloody weeds they're growing, you know, so I've got an array of tomato plants in here. Different varieties, you know, and I'll have a little chat about them as well so well that's that's it just a little drop on chilies what what's happening it is like i say it is the end of may now so we'll come back in a month's time have a look at the chilies around about month's time and see if if they're grown you know what i mean like i say these are me two long johns joe's long should i say that i'm hoping will you know at least we'll get us some fruit on you know whether it'll turn ripe or not i'm not sure i'll just take a green chili you know what I mean? i'll take that that'll do for us so we'll have another chat with the chilies a bit later on as well fingers crossed look after yourselves